oil is made up of a mixture of hydrocarbons. Crude oil is collected via drilling and then piped off for distillation, where it can be separated into fractions, which can be useful for many different uses. This is called fractional distillation. Each of the fractions in crude oil have different boiling points. Because each of the hydrocarbon chain mo molecules have different chain lengths. How fr fractional distillation works is as the liquid is heated, evaporates into a gas and rises up the tube. Then as it rises up, it cools down and turns back into a liquid and travels down this tube into the flask where it's collected. Because in each different fraction of crude oil, each one has a different yeah. boiling point, so they will separate into different, uh, different products. At 40 degrees Celsius, you can get collect refinery gases at and so on and so on to 400 degrees Celsius where you can collect fuel oil. First the crude oil is put into the fractional column over here at the bottom and then it is heated. While it's being heated it turns into a gas and rises to the top. The parts of the crude oil with a low boiling point go to the top and condense at the top and are made into refinery gases. Whereas the fractions with higher melting points rise up and condense nearer to the bottom because they condense in, low, in higher temperatures, making air, kerseline, diesel oil, etc. These are the long chain molecules. Well, as you can see, the refinery gases are used for bottled gas or such as in Bunsen burners lighters and the gasoline is usually used for cars or motorbikes or whatever. The kerosene is used for aircraft fuel which is thicker and darker whereas the diesel oil is usually used for lorries or trucks tran which transport the oil as well. Fuel oil will use be used for ships and power stations and the residue is used for roads the bitumen. As you can see here, the different boiling points of each of the fractions. Also, you ne need to remember that uh, the lower the melt, the boiling point, the shorter chain molecule, 